Hey everyone, it's Caleb. I'm back with another reaction video. One that I have been waiting to do for so long. Oh my gosh, I will be reacting to Leon's new album, Apart. Um, I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet and say like, Leon is probably one of my all time favorite artists, period, with a T at the end. Like, oh my God, like I, uh, this woman is incapable of releasing a song that I don't like. Leon is a Swedish queen who can quite literally do no wrong. That's a fact. That's in the encyclopedia. That's in Britannica. That's in the glossary. That's, that's it's a fact. It's in the constitution. So this album is going to be one of my favorite albums of all time. I already know it purely based off the singles that have been released. So I'm so excited. Let's get into it. All right. This is track number one, Head and Heart on Fire. I have heard this song a couple times, but I haven't really actually sat down and given it like a full nice listen. So this would be like a good, good way to start the album. It's a beautiful guitar line. Like a memory <laughs> Her voice still, still gets to me. This is like a warm, sad hug. <laughs> the choir! Ugh. Beautiful. Short and sweet. Love that one. I had already listened to it before, but like actually sitting down and listening to it, I have gained a deeper appreciation for it. Um, it's lush. Like it's definitely more subdued than her previous um, releases but this song is like definitely i think it's gonna set the tone for the album this is track number two and it breaks my heart i'm gonna keep this super quick because i already reacted to the song so click somewhere link i don't even know how youtube works but definitely watch that video because uh my first reaction to it was just like um a hot mess because i love this song love 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 this song but i'll listen to it quickly because it'll get me into like i want to listen to it as like a complete cohesive body of work Give me that strong. This is about her breakup last year that she really changed her for the worse. This is what she's saying. I love this build up so much. This chorus does not disappoint. This is probably one of my favorite of, this is definitely my favorite single that was released. This has aged like literal fine wine. Like I still love the song as much as I did when I first heard it. Oh, it's so good. Uh, this is track number three, Crazy Stupid. Oh, all right, we got a beat, mid-tempo. I want your party next to mine. Oh, this is funky. Okay. Oh. This is like a, a straight up Leon production. Girl, we can all relate. Crazy, stupid. Post-chorus! Miss Leon, Miss Thang, we gotta talk. Can't be acting toxic like this, man. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. 
All right, that was crazy stupid. I really liked it, obviously, as you can tell from my initial reaction. Um, it's a really cute mid-tempo. Um, definitely not my favorite, like, and it breaks my heart is still sitting pretty at the top, but this is like, if this is an indicator for the general direction of the album, we are smooth sailing. All right, this next track is track number four in A Stranger's Arms, which I have already heard, but um, I'll just like, Give me my reaction in this moment. This song is sad. <laughs> This is track number five, Chasing a Feeling, which, oh, not gonna lie, I've also listened to this one. I'm sorry, I feel like the front half of this reaction video is just like front loaded with um, songs that I've already listened to, but that's not my fault. She decided to release all the freaking pre-singles and put them at the beginning of the album. This isn't an initial reaction, but this is just me jamming out to Chasing a Feeling. Oh my God. The listening to this is a religious experience. Almost. Um, it is. crazy. Not trying to steal all your time. Also, just the lyrics. Are y'all hearing this? like I'm watching this with Wonder if we passed the point of trying. The way that this girl is true talent, like, she's not holding anything back. She is asking the tough questions. Like, come on. Some of y'all, like, can't even ask those questions after, like, 10 years of therapy. I That run just gets me every time. How do you know? No, you know what you know. So if you're questioning it. Oh, that's so relatable. It's like, okay, you're, are we chasing a feeling? You know, there's a lot of uncertainty here. What are we doing? What's going on? And being like, oh, well, if I break things off, like, am I going to regret it? <sighs> and that's the risk you got to take. And she took that risk and regretted it. My mind will be on you if you're out the way. Somebody knew I'm not going back. Maybe we've been chasing a feeling. Um, yeah, I still love that song. <laughs> oh my, definitely one of my favorites. It's, it's up there. Like, this is one of the best songs she's ever released. I don't make the rules. All right, this is track number six, Falling Apart. Finally, a new song that I haven't heard. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I, I've i heard the song is sad. And the title is sad, so let's listen to it. Bring on the tears. Bye. That, there's a lot to unpack there. There's a lot, there's a lot. I love how she's just talking so candidly about how difficult it is to initiate a breakup. There's something in your eyes. You seem unsure somehow. I've been running all my life. She sounds so good. Oh God. I think he's 
say we've tried. What do you do when you love someone? Not the breakdown. You can't go on, no, you can't. You fall apart, yeah, you fall apart. Well, something's telling me she's falling apart. <laughs> I think it's devastatingly beautiful. I think she sounds the best on this track so far. Girl, why'd you gotta wreck me like this? This is track number seven, Who You Lovin', which, <laughs> surprise, I've already listened to. But this is a good song, I like it. We're trying to get some sassy Leon. I miss my sassy Leon. <laughs> I'm like throwing down at like the jamboree. <laughs> Woo! I love this like big band production. All right, not the breakdown. All right, it's my favorite part. Woo! Mm, girl, you gotta hum your way out of this spot. Again, this one also grew on me. Obviously, I liked it when I first heard it, but like now that I listened to it for like a couple months, I'm like, ooh, who are you loving? Let me know. This is track number eight, 17. Sounds so glorious. I feel like this is what you hear when you ascend. To the gates of heaven. I have ever been an old place is closing, but who is one of the best of food? Oh, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I hear it, I hear it. Leon loves that. She loves the build up. She loves to start it so freaking slow and then paint a grand. Soundscape. Oh! I can't, there's so much, there's so much going on to process, I love it all. Ooh, dance before we go. Oh. This is like an eargasm. That, that's the one. That's, that's the track. I have like, the goosebumps are permanently on my body. I'm just, this is track number, Nine, tell me. Stay together. Come on, another piano ballad. It's gonna make me cry. To let me go. Not an island sometimes. I wish they were across the line. Each time I try so very hard to hurt you. Don't let me go. next time she really just flipped the switch on a chorus on a choir <laughs> Comment below, Miss Leon. People need to know. That was beautiful. Obviously, way too short, but um, yeah. Lush. That's all I have to say. It's lush. All right, this is track number ten. Die for you. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this one a lot. Oh, this is the one I think. <laughs> 
I promise I'm not being dramatic that I literally I'm choking up that was this is the one this is the one I kind of I kind of don't want to listen to the rest like I want to save it yep this is gonna be my song of the year song of the year I don't make the rules My favorite song ever. <laughs> she saved it for the end. <laughs> I'm unwell. I'm literally unwell. That was the worst track of the album. <laughs> what? That was literally... Wow, that's quite literally one of my favorite Leon songs ever. Beethoven could never scratch the surface of the brilliance of this song, period. Okay, I've gained some composure and I'm ready to listen to the last song called Apart. The title track. Looking in the day, all the easy things seem so damn hard for me. Dear friends talk shit about me. Maybe I don't need to know. Oh, girl, okay, that's relatable. What if I don't know myself without you? Oh. No! Not that line! That's the worst part. It's like when you break up with somebody and you feel so lost and don't really recognize yourself. Now no nothing at all. Mm. Oh my god. Now I've been doing things that only hurt me in the end. No, not yeah, the self-sabotage. I mean, she's take, she's, we, she's taking me there. I mean, I've been there this entire hour. This girl, her voice, ugh, I can't, I can't, I, I honestly cannot. It's, it's too, it's too perfect. No, babe. That can't be the last thing. You can't leave it like that. Well, that concludes uh, Leon's album apart. Devastatingly beautiful. I'm just gonna say those two words. I think they succinctly describe the album. Um, it's heavy. It's really heavy. And it's even more so heavy because it's extremely applicable and relatable to my life and my breakup and I just feel like she really encapsulated like a very specific snapshot of her life and did it so hauntingly beautifully. Leon, girl, way to wreck me up on a Saturday, but I love you. So thanks for watching. Um, make sure to do all the things that YouTubers do, like like, subscribe, comment, share, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you like this hopefully i'll be recording some more reaction videos for y'all and i'll see you next time